guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about how I cross out, stay, get motivated. In today's day and age, we don't stay motivated. We have all kinds of distractions like TikTok and Netflix. And with all these distractions, it is so hard to stay motivated. So how do I stay motivated? The answer is I don't. I get motivated. When I get in these distracted states where I can't focus on my work, on my goals, where I'm going, I have to take these steps to get motivated again. I am just as bad about getting into a state of procrastination as literally every other single human on the earth. The only thing that really matters is how you can pull yourself out of that procrastinated state. The first thing I do is I go over my goals. I have a notebook that has all my goals written down in it. Where do I want to go? What do I want my social media to look like? Who do I want to attract? How much money do I want to make? How am I going to make that money? Like everything. I just sit down and I look at it. Reviewing your goals gets the gear shifting in your mind again to get you into that flow of creativity and good work ethic that you need to thrive. There's a reason that when you're in high school and you play like football or volleyball before you have a game, your coach is sitting there and they give you a motivational speech or maybe they play a motivational video for you. It's because it's motivational and inspirational. Hearing other people and how they overcame failure with success that stuff is inspiring and the reason those videos are made is to get us motivated again. I highly suggest watching a YouTube video. I'm on motivation TikTok. Like anything to just get those gears flowing in your mind like, oh yeah, this is what I want. This is how I'm going to get it and just go for it. Reading is such a great way to get motivated. Like watching the failure to success inspirational video, reading about people's failure to success has a different kind of impact. A book is more in depth. It gives you some more details. It's not just compacted into a short five minute video. You can learn so much from somebody else's story. The point of a memoir or a self-development book is to get you motivated. It's to show you what that person came from and what they made themselves to be. Reading is so important. Read your self-development books. I love reading books about money, mindset. If you want a video on all of my self-help books, that I've read. I'll have to make an updated one, but here's the last video I made of that. To get motivated, you have to be doing what you love. If that's creating content, it's gotta be something you're proud of. I'm not gonna sit here and film a video on how to do math. I freaking suck at math. If I was sitting here trying to make a video breaking down math, but I don't even like math, I'm not even good at math, it wouldn't be good content. If you're loving the kind of work you're making, the content you're creating, the creativity, will bring you out of that slump. Your creativity will get you motivated because when you can make something that you're proud of and other people love that, that's motivating. This is one of my favorites, but to get motivated, look at your bank account and then go look at your list of goals in your journal. Do they match up? Do they line up? No? Okay, you need to get to work. <laughs> you gotta surround yourself with hardworking and motivated people. There's this saying, and I think it's so true, I say it to this day, you are like the five people you hang around. If you hang around drug addicts, if you hang around people that just work a nine to five, and you're entrepreneurial and you want more for your life than just 40 hours of work a week, you do not need to be hanging out with people who can't get motivated. See how I didn't say stay motivated? Nobody stays motivated. People have to get motivated. And if you are surrounding yourself with people that don't know how to do that, you're not gonna grow. This is the last thing I'm gonna touch on. To get motivated, you have to literally take care of yourself. Self-care. So that means, you know, getting your work done, um, but it also means having a clean space, working out, doing your skincare routine, taking baths if that's what you like, reading books, even if it's not a self-development book, and you wanna sit down and read a Colleen Hoover book, Go for it. You cannot produce when you don't feel like your best self. When you work on your outward appearance, you're confident. And when you're confident, you get more work done. And when you're getting more work done, you feel better about who you are as a person and what you bring to the table and what you are creating your life to be. Like I said, I love motivational shit, okay? I've got all those books over there that I read. I watch motivational TikTok. I watch those inspirational YouTube videos. Literally everything because I love getting motivated. I have such big goals and dreams for my life that I do not want to succumb to my circumstances. It is time to get motivated. If you are not getting motivated right now, you're gonna be in the same spot as you were this time last year. So it's time 
to boss up, babe. It is time to get the work done. It is time to get motivated. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok at audrey.plusinski. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.